Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. People often use Excel to sum columns and rows of data. This happens so frequently that Excel includes a feature called Auto Sum that automatically performs a selected function, like sum, on a selected column or row of uninterrupted, meaning no blank, cells. This saves you time in creating basic formulas. To use this feature, select the cell that is at the end of a column or row that you want to add. Then click the Auto Sum button that appears in the Function Library button group on the Formulas tab in the ribbon. Excel then selects a range of adjacent cells for you. If Excel selects the wrong range of cells, then just use your mouse to click and drag over the correct cell range to use within the formula. Finally, you can then click the Auto Sum button again, or simply press the Enter key on your keyboard to accept the formula. Another way to use this tool is to click and drag over the cells in the columns or rows to add, including a blank cell at the end of the selected columns or rows where you want the answer to appear. Then just click the Auto Sum button once to add the selected columns and rows and display the answers in the selected blank cell or cells. Notice that if you try to perform the Auto Sum command on a cell that is at the intersection of a row and a column, Auto Sum attempts to use the column data versus the row data. You can intervene to change this initial cell selection Excel makes if needed. Also, despite its name, the Auto Sum command isn't limited to the sum function. You can click the drop down below the Auto Sum button to select a different function to perform from the drop down menu that appears. If the function you want to use doesn't appear in the drop down menu, you can also select the More Functions command from the button's drop down menu to open the Insert Function dialog box, where you can then select from all of Excel's available functions. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.